Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. I was a nurse and I now am a full-time reseller. And one of the things I like to do is research what is selling for really good money currently in eBay's marketplace. So today I'm going to go over vintage brooches with you that sold for around $2,000 or more. Now these are rare brooches, but they are out there and you can get lucky sometimes and find them. I'm also gonna show you one that I have at the end of this that is on auction ending tonight with a bid at $599. So if at any point you think you would like to see brooches worth under $2,000, let me know and I will be sure to do that research video as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at these brooches that are worth thousands of dollars. All right, so up first is not technically a brooch. It probably was at one time, but there's no pen on the back of it. It's really like a little miniature piece of art. It is a piece of micro mosaic glass, and it is really impressive. And I did learn at an antique fair that the smaller the pieces of glass, typically the older that piece is. And this one is stunning. This is a antique micro mosaic peasant lady 19th century from Italy. This one is absolutely beautiful. It is teeny teeny tiny pieces of glass. Here you can see it in their hand. It is a very small piece to be selling at 2000 and here I wanted to show you just zoomed in a little closer exactly how small these pieces of glass are. And then here on the back you can see there is no pen, there is no marking, it is just a black lacquer back. And that was a great sale. They did take a best offer on $1,975. Next is actually one of the few pieces I put in that are precious metal. So this one is 22 karat gold, but I will tell you in some of the estate lots that I've bought, I've come across gold brooches. So it is possible, but most of these brooches that are selling this high are selling this high because they're very rare. So chances of finding them are pretty slim. However, finding ones by the same maker or the same style that will still sell for quite a bit is definitely possible. So this next one is by a designer that I have never seen. This is a vintage Ilias Lelunas 22 karat yellow gold lion head large brooch or scarf pin. It sold for $1,988. And I wanted to show you here on the back, it does clearly say Lelunas Grease and it says K22 for 22 karat. And that was a great sale at $1,988. Up next is another one that is gold, but this one actually is not branded. It doesn't have a maker and it was an incredible sale. So if you do happen to come across a gold brooch, even if it is unnamed, depending on what it is, it could be super valuable. This is an estate brown, white, and green enamel 3D tiger. It is 18 karat yellow gold. It was made in Italy. It sold for $2,379.02. Here you can see that lion in their hand. Pretty good size lion there. And then here on the back zoomed in, you can say it does say 18 karat and Italy. So an absolutely amazing sale almost at $2,400. All right, up next is one that was sold on auction. And with all of these, if they were sold on auction, I am going to tell you this uh, next one is a very well-known Trafari designer and that is Alfred Felipe. This is an important sterling Trafari Alfred Felipe rubies, sapphire, angelfish brooch. This was an auction, got 47 bids and sold for $20. $400. Here you can see that fish up close. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful brooch. 
and I wanted to zoom in on the fin here. You can see it is clearly marked Trafari. And this one, it being sterling silver, I'm sure had something to do with it. But I think the biggest thing on this one is that it was Alfred Philippe bringing in that high buy price. All right, up next is another designer name that you need to be familiar with. I'm going to show you the mark. This next one is a David Yurman. This is a rare David Yurman sterling diamond pearl tourmaline renaissance brooch. It was sterling silver. This one sold for a best offer on buy it now for $2,500. Here you can see the brooch up close. Beautiful, beautiful renaissance style on that. And here on the back, I want you to see this marking. So David Yurman is marked with a DY and you can see it is stamped 925. Keep an eye out for David Yurman pieces. That was a great sale at almost $2,500. All right, up next is a Shriner, and that is actually what I have that I'm going to show you at the end of this video. My auction is ending tonight. I started it at $599. I've got a bid, so it definitely will sell. I'm hoping it will go closer to a thousand. So this next one is not what I think of as a typical Shriner. It's actually a grape cluster set. This is an incredible unsigned vintage Shriner red grapes motif brooch and clip-on earrings. This one sold for $2,501.75. Here you can see them up close. A beautiful, beautiful ruby red color grape clusters. And here on the back you can see it is black and it was not signed and still brought over $2,500. All right, up next is another Trafari. This one is a Maltese cross. This is a vintage Crown Trafari Maltese cross brooch pin Jewels of India collection along with the earrings. The set sold for $2,500. Here you can see them up close. Beautiful, beautiful jewels on this one and a great sale at $2,500. All right, up next is one of my favorite vintage jewelry designers, and that is Miriam Haskell. This is a beautiful set. Haskell pieces can run from 20, 30, 40, all the way up to the thousands like I'm getting ready to show you. So when you have a Miriam Haskell piece, I think it's really important to find a similar piece if you're trying to comp it to get an idea of value or if you want to resell it. So with all of these items, they are not mine. This is something I do on research. I have quite a few other research videos on necklaces, on brooches, on all different kinds of jewelry as well as other things. So if you like them, definitely check out the research playlist on my channel. Give me a follow, hit the like button and share with your friends if you think they will like it. Let's take a look at this gorgeous Miriam Haskell set. This is a vintage Miriam Haskell Grapoi Mallorca brooch and earrings huge four and a half inches they accepted a best offer on a twenty six hundred dollar asking price you can see it's beautiful here with its dangle on that brooch also came with the matching earrings you can see here up close and that was a great sale at twenty six hundred dollars all right up next is something i have been selling some items from but I didn't know that they would go this high. So this next one is MMA or Metropolitan Museum of Art and this brooch sold for well over $2,000. This is a superb MMA 14 karat gold ancient Scythian Ketos Dragon Sea Serpent Penner Brooch sold for $2,600 and ten dollars here i wanted to show you up close on the back you can clearly see it is marked mma and 14k i was not aware they made 14 karat brooches but this was a great sale at twenty six hundred and ten dollars all right up next is a beautiful victorian style brooch along with earrings it is a little cupid or angel set 
This is a antique Victorian Etruscan enamel cherub angel 14 karat gold brooch pendant and earrings. The set sold for $2,695.50. Here you can see that set up close. Beautiful, beautiful enamel and painting on these. And I did want to show you here on the back, they were not marked and they were showing that the screw backs were 14 karat gold, but the connector was only 12 karat gold filled and they still sold for $2,695. Up next is a set that sold for a best offer on a $2,750 asking price. It is a Mazer, and that is a name that has come up multiple times in these videos. Let me show you this beautiful brooch. This is a Mazer Trailing Blazers brooch, faux pearls, emerald fruit salad leaves, seven and a half inches long very very long brooch here it is up close absolutely beautiful beautiful rhinestones on this one and then here on the back you can see it is clearly marked mazer and that was a great sale at twenty seven hundred and fifty dollars Next is another $2,750 sale. This is a cute puppy dog and it was by Shia Pirelli. This is a very rare Shia Pirelli by Jean Schlumberger Staffordshire Dog Vogue 1938 brooch. They did accept a best offer on a $2,750 asking price. Here is the back. It was clearly marked Deposé and that was a great sale at $2,750. All right, up next is a Giuliana. Giuliani pieces are absolutely gorgeous. You do have to study them and learn how they were made and know some of the telltale signs because no Giuliana pieces are marked. They actually all only had a paper hang tag. This one still has that original tag. This is a 1964 Juliana Easter egg necklace, bracelet, brooch, and earring set with the original hang tag. They accepted a best offer for $2,995. Here you can see the set up close. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous set. And here on the back, I wanted to show you the amazing craftsmanship on this Juliana. And you can also see the original hang tag hanging and a great sale just shy of $3,000. All right, up next is another artist that I absolutely love. I have found a few brooches and that is Marcel Boucher. This is a vintage Marcel Boucher pea pod fantasy peas in a pod enamel large brooch or pen this one sold for three thousand dollars absolutely amazing sale so we saw a little like kind of fruit salad leaves now there are peas in a pod so watch out for some really really well-made vegetables and fruit jewelry because it could sell high up next is another Miriam Haskell set. It is a beautiful green peridot set. This Miriam Haskell set, green peridot, grapoy glass, grand perer, horseshoe signed. They accepted a best offer on $3,450. Here is that set up close. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful set. This is a complete set. And then I did want to show you here on the back, you can see on the left on the clasp of the bracelet, that is clearly marked Miriam Haskell as well as the clasp on the necklace. And that was a great sale at almost $3,500. All right, up next is another Alfred Felipe. This one is a tree of life and it sold for almost $3,500. This is a vintage designer signed Trafari Alfred Philippe Claire de Lune Tree of Life brooch. They did have it priced at $34.88. I did want to show you here on the back. You can see the crown, the Trafari, and patent pending, and a great sale at almost $3,500. All right, up next is a 
beautiful brooch. It is Native American and I've never seen anything like this. So I wanted to make sure to show you because I feel like this could be looked over as being worth as much as it is. This is a vintage Lakota native Michael Little Elk 14 karat gold figure silver brooch pendant. It is of a little Native American man. This one sold for $3,586.50. Here you can see the man laying down on his side. It is kind of 3D. There are multi layers. And then here you can see the back of that brooch. And I also wanted to show you zoomed in here. So the the Michael Little Elk, you can see it says ML Elk as well as showing that elk antler above it. And it is clearly marked 14 karat. And that was a great sale at $3,586. Up next is another absolutely gorgeous Juliana set. This one again is not marked and this one did not have the original hang tag but it sold for over $3,500. This is a Juliana blue rhinestone Easter egg necklace bracelet brooch and earring set. This one sold for $3,799. Here you can see up close the beautiful blues and pinks on the eggs. Absolutely gorgeous set. Here is the brooch and the earrings up close. I want you to really, again, look at the quality, look at the design on these because these pieces are not marked. So you would not be able to easily identify them. You need to learn more about how Juliana makes. And there are kind of a few telltale signs of Juliana. And here is the back of that set. Just again, so you can see more of the quality. And that was a great sale at almost $3,800. All right, up next is another Alfred Philippe. Trafari and it is in the original box which is pretty cool so it's not overly common to find some of these really vintage brooches and necklaces in their original box but this one was and it brought a great price. This is a Crown Trafari Sorrento Alfred Philippe Baby Tooth Purr four piece set with the original box. It sold for $3,995. Here you can see it in the beautiful box and it does say Jewels by Trafari. Absolutely amazing set and almost a $4,000 sale. Up next is another Shriner. So there were a lot of Shriners. I didn't put a ton of them in here because a lot of them are the same style or look. So this next one is a little bit different than what I already showed you. And this one sold for almost $4,000. This is a rare gorgeous Scripoy glass shriner rhinestone flower brooch pen it actually sold for over four thousand four thousand and fifty dollars beautiful flower brooch here and here you can see how large it is in their hand absolutely beautiful really big piece and here is the back of this one and this one actually I don't see a signature on it, but in the description, they did say that it was signed. I'm just not seeing it. That was a great sale at just over $4,000. All right, we are up to our top five brooches, and all of them sold for over $4,000. This next one is a beautiful Swan Lake brooch. This is an Alfred Philippe. 1940 Swan Lake crown brooch. This one was an auction, got 27 bids, sold for $4,050. Here it is up close and I actually want you to see there are two or three stones missing from this one and it still brought over 4000 Here is the back of this one and you can see it is clearly marked Trafari. And that was a great sale on auction, bringing in over $4,000. All right, if you know me, I absolutely love cloisonne jewelry. And this next piece is cloisonne, and it is impressive. I have never seen anything as beautiful as this in cloisonne, so I definitely had to share it with you. 
This is a Ricky Frank 18 karat yellow gold and sterling cloisonne modernist enamel. They did put make offer. They did take an offer. It was listed at $4,200. I wanted to show you a couple of pictures up close. This is an absolutely amazing brooch you can see here. Beautiful gold as well as silver. And here it is from another angle. Just to give you some idea of the absolutely great detail on this brooch. And it brought in over $4,000. All right, so this next one, I've been trying to put at least one of these into these high dollar research video. This next one was appraised at $14,500. And one of the biggest things that I like to discuss on these videos is that getting an appraisal does not necessarily equate to you will get that much money. So this one was appraised at $14,500, but that's not the resale value. That is the value for your insurance purposes. Typically, there are different appraisals you can ask for. So this one appraised for $14,500, and I'm gonna show you what they actually got for it right now. So this signed massive vintage Lalunas 18 karat goldfish brooch, again appraised at $14,500, they sold it for $4,400. So this situation, they accepted $10,000 less than that appraisal. So please be very aware if you have an appraisal on an item that is not what you will get for it on the actual resale market. Here is this beautiful goldfish brooch up close in the hand. You can see it's very large. And I did, of course, want to show you it does clearly say Lulunus 18 karat. Great sale at $4,400, but $10,000 less than what it was appraised for. All right, we are up to our top two. They are both Shriner. I'm going to show you these, and then I'm going to show you my piece that is ending here shortly on auction, currently at $599. So let me show you the first of these two Shriners, and not just Shriners of this style or selling. These are Starburst. Keep an eye out. They are very, very in style right now, and they are selling for big money. The first one is a vintage Shriner unsigned large aqua opaque ruffle brooch with rhinestones. So they are starburst ruffles. They are very, very 3D. This one they accepted a best offer on $4,500. Here you can see this one is absolutely gorgeous. The swirl on that middle stone with the pink as well as the opaque turquoise. And here on the back you can see exactly how how good the quality of this brooch is and it is not signed and still they got a best offer of $4,500. All right and now our highest Shriner brooch. It is another ruffle brooch. This one sold for over $5,000. This is a vintage Shriner glass flawed it is flawed and it still brought over five thousand dollars emerald and glass sapphire keystone ruffle brooch sold for five thousand two hundred and forty five dollars i think i see the crack there up on the top of that middle green stone still even flawed brought over five thousand dollars all right that is the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to show you some brooches that sell for under $2,000, I would be happy to do that. Just let me know. I haven't done a research video in a little while. I was doing a lot of them and I kind of get bored if I'm doing the same thing. So if you're new here, I also show you what I sell every week on eBay as well as I sell a lot of jewelry on whatnot and I started off low. I've sold some higher end pieces for pretty low bids. So if you're a jewelry collector or even a jewelry reseller, check me out on whatnot. I have a link down below. You can join, get $15 free. So I'm gonna show you this Shriner brooch that I have and mine is an unsigned one. So this absolutely beautiful Shriner brooch is the one I have on auction ending here soon. 
and here is the back of mine so I got this from Dawn her name is Sanford and Son on whatnot so I did buy this gorgeous Shriner brooch on whatnot for $400 so I do currently have one bid I'm hoping some more will come in before the end and I'll get over a thousand beautiful beautiful Shriner brooch so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you hanging out. Look forward to seeing you on some future videos in the comments. Share with your friends. Come see me over on Whatnot. I will see you on the next one.